I have something really cool to show you. Something you have so far seen only on Eurosport. Hi, this is Tom from TDK Ski Racing and today we are going to talk about video overlays. And we are going to watch two of the world's absolute best ski racers battle it out head to head right after this. <laughs> We are all familiar with the cat and mouse effect where two ski racers are chasing each other down the racing track like Tom and Jerry. For small content creators like myself, overlaying perfectly aligned videos on top of each other has simply not been possible. The reason is that as we are shooting the videos, we are moving the camera around and continuously offsetting the skiers to each other in the final mix. And there are of course no such function in modern video editing software. The only way so far has been to place the camera on a tripod and not moving it while shooting the footage. Problem here is that the skiers become very small in the picture and very small on the screen and it becomes boring to watch. So, this past winter I was approached by one of my viewers here on YouTube, Ville. Not only is he a great club lever ski racer, but he's also a software engineer and developer. He came up with the totally awesome code, aligning two videos on top of each other by identifying and using the gates as reference points. I'm not going to go into great detail on how it is done exactly as I actually don't know. Merely just show you what he came up with. Ville asked me for two clips for testing and, and I sent him the footage from the Levy training sessions of no one less than Alex Pantero. And can we have a drum roll? Clement Noel. Both from the French World Cup team and two of the absolute best ski racers in the world. Let's take, let's take a look at the clips. Pantero is one of my all-time favorite ski racers. He is super solid and smooth. It's pure joy watching him dancing down the race course in perfect form. Young Noel ranked as the second best slalom skier in the world is a more than worthy contender for a head-to-head -head comparison between the two. As we can see, Noel's run is not totally flawless, but how much time did that cost him, if any? Let's find out. This is my usual format, comparing two skiers to each other. But the cat and mouse effect is lacking. However, by slowing down the footage, it gives us plenty of time to go back and forth between the two for easy reviewing. Now, let's take both clips and overlay them on top of each other instead of viewing them side by side. I'm using the software Vegas Pro 17 and even if it's handy with lots of things, as I mentioned previously, there is no overlay function available. I can only adjust the opacity level on the tracks and try to pan and zoom to the best of my ability. Anyway, let's look at Villa's overlay. Wow, how cool is that? Just like on Eurosport. Tom and Jerry on skis. By the way, I wonder if Villa could sell this code to Magix or maybe Google. Oh, 
Looks like the more experienced Pantero, with his consistent flawless skiing, was quicker. Now, let's slow it down even more and try to find out exactly why Noel lagged behind. Here, at the second gate, Noel clearly goes wide with his outside ski while Pantero holds his line perfectly. From there on, Pantero is able to keep his line and keep his speed. Noel again is late at almost every gate at the top of the steep, breaking his speed and can never make up for what he lost. Pantero's lead just keeps on growing. Totally awesome software. I am going to use this for many videos in the future. That's for sure. Backlog. Pantero won the next slalom race in Val d'Isère, while Noel went on to win three of the six remaining slalom races, ending up second overall in slalom. Pantero again had maybe his best season ever, winning, winning the Alpine combined, second in giant slalom, sixth in slalom, eighth in super G and second overall. Congrats to both Pantero and Noel for outstanding achievements. That's all folks. Stay home, stay safe and see you in the next video.